Hopefully that helps. And the last one is again, another evaluating, um, but this one looks pretty big, right? At least for the Pirate 3 that was on the unit circle. Um, this one's on the unit circle as well, but it's larger than a revolution. So what we're gonna do is let's subtract the revolution. So a revolution in terms of thirds would be six pi over three. So 14 pi over three minus six pi over three. Now again, six pi over three is going all the way around the unit circle, right? So no matter what my angle is, right? If I go six pi over three, or if I subtract six pi over three, that's gonna take me to exactly where I started. So when I subtract six pi over three, that's gonna take me to a tangent of, let's see, that's going to be um, eight pi over three. Well, guess what? I can do this again, right? I can subtract another revolution of six pi over three. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, again, tangent of eight pi over three minus another revolution of six pi over three. When I subtract another revolution of six pi over three, now I'm left with tangent of two pi over three. Now, this one's very interesting because the last problem had tangent of pi over three, which we said was square root of three but it was positive because pi over three was in the first quadrant. Well, now two pi over three is gonna have the same reference angle, which is pi over three, but it's in the second quadrant, therefore it's going to be negative. So that's equal to the negative square root of three. 